hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel all right so today's video is going to be a pretty exciting one at least i think and it's going to be how i digitally create my photos so if you guys do not know what digitally creating your photos really means i'll like put some um, images up on the screen of things that i've done and this has been kind of a trend you've seen it probably everywhere on like i don't know tiktok and I want to show you guys how to do this yourself. One thing I have that I love to use with my iPad when I'm digitally drawing things is both Procreate, which does cost like $10, I believe, and this stylus. So it's not the Apple Pencil. I actually really like the stylus. I love how it has like a pen side as well as like a little, um, as well as like a more blunt side. And I really think it's fun to draw with. So if you don't want to um, buy an Apple Pencil, which is like $100, just get this one or something similar to this on Amazon for anything like $12. I think I got this for like $25. All right, so I'm going to open up the app Procreate, which is what I use. I'm just going to start a new one and I'm going to make it a, I'm going to make it a square. I usually just do a square because it's pretty simple. So now I am going to go over to this little thing right over here in the corner and I'm going to hit add and then hit insert a photo. So insert photo will allow you to just basically put in a photo of your choice and digitally create it. All right, so here is my photo. It's a little blurry, but that's no big deal. It doesn't have to look perfect. I just make it as big as I can without cropping out anything else. And now I'm gonna make another layer on top. So now the first thing I like to do is I like to just get the skin. So that includes the face, the hands, and maybe a leg or something like that. So let's just, first thing you want to do is press and hold and try to find that color that you think most best, best represents the skin tone. So I think that's pretty good. And now I want to make sure I'm on the right brush. So I like to use um, a studio pen from inking. And now I'm just going to trace that in all the spaces that I see this color. You don't have to worry about being perfect. You can always just erase the parts that you don't really like. You're just trying to get a outline for your image and do it as best as you can. All right, so now when you've outlined something, you just click on the color in the corner and drag it over to the areas that you want to fill in. All right, so there we go. Now we have all of that skin tone in, and now I'm just gonna create another layer for this other skin that she has. And you'll notice down here that there's like a definite shadow of the skin. So I'll just make another layer for that color of skin to just, to make it look more realistic. And I'm always going to make a new layer whenever I'm doing a new color. It just is a lot easier to keep track of your colors and things like that. So now I'm just going to add this like shadow kind of color on her leg right here. So if you guys do not know the ins and outs of Procreate yet, that is totally fine. I have a video all about how to use Procreate and I'll put it right up here. So if you guys want to check that out, you should definitely should. Okay, so now we're going to start doing some of the other details like the shirt, the pants, the hair. So I'm going to start out with doing the shirt, which is super cute. You always want to make sure that your lines are enclosed when you're drawing. If they're not fully um, closed and there's like a slight gap, then when you try to put in your color like here. So there's a slight gap there. Now if I try to put in my color, it'll go on the entire screen. So you just want to undo it with two taps and make sure that you have your lines completely filled. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna draw is her white shirt. Always wanna make sure that you're just taking your time to do your best. Don't worry if you make mistakes, it's okay. And if you just take your time, you're going to get a cool end product. Okay, so now that we have her shirt, 
let's get her hair. The hair is kind of a tricky part to do because a lot of times in hair there's lots of different colors that you could choose from when trying to, you know, find a color that works best. So just find a color that you think represents the hair best and just go with it. And you can always add things like details. You can always add details like highlights or just other things like that later. I think the hair is probably one of the most difficult things because it's just so intricate. But the first thing you want to do is always just, all we want to do is just draw the main outline of the hair. All right, so there's the hair. It looks super cute. So the really cool thing about jeans is there's a lot of detailing in them, but that also makes it sort of harder to draw on, you know, procreate and things like that. So what I like to do is I start by just doing the main colors that I see, and then I work my way um, adding more details where I see them and just sort of picking a color to do all that for. So now I have some more detailing with the jeans, but we're going to need to add some more shadow at the bottom because there is some shadow there. So I'm going to hide this and I'm just going to pick that color and I'm going to add some more detailing. All right, so now we have some more of that detailing. Let's show the jeans back again. And so now you can see that I've sort of missed some of the sides. So I'm just going to fill those in really fast. All right, so now the jeans look super cute. And I'm going to do the socks and the shoe. And then we'll be basically done. All right, so now let's hide the layer and see what it looks like. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. The only thing we missed is the phone. So let's quickly do that. All right, so that's the finished product. It looks so, so adorable. And now that we've made this, that is the end of this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.